Steve the Mac Guy here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of annoying virus pop-ups on the iPhone and iPad. So you've probably seen these fake virus alerts. The most common way to get them is reading clickbait articles on Facebook. Some of them you can just close and they're no big deal. But then you have the ones like this. You can't close them, and if you quit Safari, they come right back when you try to use Safari again. Just to be clear, these are completely fake. Unless your iPhone or iPad is jailbroken, it's highly unlikely that you'll get a virus. These are just annoying pop-up windows, and the people that create them are just hoping you'll fall for their scam. They use scare tactics to try to get you to give up credit card information so they can steal from you. Never call one of these numbers or respond to an email asking for personal information. If you really think your Mac, iPhone, or iPad has a virus, take it to the Apple Store or another professional that you trust and have them check it out for you. Now I'm going to show you two ways to get rid of these annoying virus alerts. The first way is to go to Settings, scroll down and tap Safari, and then at the bottom of the Safari settings, select Clear History and Website Data. Tap Clear, and now the virus alert should be gone. Now there is one drawback to this method. This will clear all of your history, not just on this device, but any other devices that are signed onto your iCloud account and set up to sync Safari settings. The second method is to use another Apple device. This only works if both devices are logged into the same iCloud account and both have to be set up to sync Safari settings. The benefit of this method is you can close the alert without clearing all of your history. So to use another iOS device, just go to Safari, then click the Tabs button in the lower right corner. Scroll down to the bottom and you should see the affected device and a list of all currently open websites. In this case, the website is called Apple Alert. Swipe to the left beside the site and click Close. This closes the alert on your other device and allows you to use Safari. You can also do this from a Mac. Again, it has to be signed into the same iCloud account and set up to sync Safari settings. So on your Mac, open Safari and click the Show All Tabs button in the upper right corner. Under the tabs you have open on your Mac, it should also list the tabs you have open on your other devices. Now the alert isn't shown here because I already closed it from my iPhone, but all you have to do is find the site that has the alert in the list, and when you hover over it with your cursor, you should see a close button. Click the button to close the alert on your affected device, and that's all there is to it. This problem is extremely annoying if you don't know how to fix it, but the solution is pretty simple. Now that you know the fix, you can go back to reading those clickbait articles with immunity. If you found this video helpful, please take a minute to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that might find it useful. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more Apple tips and tutorials.